hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel we are on countdown on one of the biggest trials that will ever emanate in nigeria and it looks like uh, everybody's not done yet in talking uh, politicians have spoken very extensively over this uh, find you bad the pdp gubernatorial um uh, gubernatorial candidate for anambra also spoke out uh, and and Dibu have spoken out and more people are speaking out and in fact they're actually telling the federal government to do the needful now even before the even before the trial before going to the news proper i would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as update our channel on youtube well a group of Igbo youth under the aegis of ohane's youth council oyc has appealed to the federal government to follow the path of dialogue and discard and discard the fresh terrorist charge against the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, that's Imazen Namdekano. The group noted that Nigerian government is moving close to fireworks, ap appealing to the federal government to settle the case outside the court. The council made the appeal through its national president, Comrade Ibayaka O Ibayaka, on Tuesday in Oware, Imo State, shortly after a peace and conflict resolution meeting of the council. It attributed the sudden escalation of deep problem between the Nigerian government and the pro Biafran groups to the poor treatment meted out to the latter by the former by the former beginning from the time of Raf Wazuriki up till today. According to OYC, the demand for self-determination among Igbos is an evidence of how Igbos have been treated in Nigeria since the end of the Nigerian Biafran chaos. The colossal, colossal failure of the Southeast leaders from governors to senators, House of Representatives, to ministers, House of Assembly members, and all sorts of political leaders in the Southeast contributed to the economic decay, which raised the demand of young generation to seek the actualization of state of Biafra started by Dim Ikemba Odemegu Ojuku in 1967. Speaking further, OYC National President said, since the year 2000, there are many members of Masob in Nigerian prison. In Anambra and Oka prison, about 15 members of Masob are still in prison since 13 years. My God. OYC regretted that 15 members of Masob have been lying waste in Anambra and Oka prison since 13 years, among whom he bemoaned was a pregnant woman, Mrs. Onyede Kaoje, who gave birth in prison. The council said Nigerian government should follow the part of dialogue and negotiation in, de in dealing with pro friends or risk sinking of Nigeria within nine months. He insisted, stressing that there are more than 10,000 Igbo youths, or better still, 10,000 Igbo young men more controversial on the issue of Biafra restoration than Namdekano, my God, people are talking. They said, "Look, if if this is not settled now, it's quite unique, though. What he is asking for, or what a OYC Youth Council is asking for, is they should settle this out of court. They shouldn't even think of going through the trial. They should do this out of court. That if they insist on going, that if the federal government insists on going this route, then that within nine months." that Nigeria may not, may, may, may not be, it must, may be no more. A quick one, um, some, just some minutes ago, before now, um, there was heard that UGM actually struck down two monarchs, two traditional rulers in Imo state, while they were having a meeting in Ihiala. This is quite serious. Okay, so that, that's to tell you that already there's so much tension in Southeast. And but, but before we go into this full analysis, let's just feel the pulse of Nigerians because, of course, because of the biggest uh, one of the biggest court trials that is going on, Nigerians are, are actually on this. We're going to take some of the comments. So, here is saying, I dictate threat in this submission. Dialogue, yes, threat, no. Okay, this one here is saying, 
empty threat without any substance. Ibo Ibo Ohane is a youth group. Ibo Ohane is a youth group always make noise, thinking that they can blackmail federal government to release Namde Kano. This one here is saying, thanks for OIC. God will help us. Amen. Thanks. This one here is saying, nine months too far. We want everything to start now. <laughs> this one here is saying, okay. This one here is a waste of time. So he said, empty threats, go ahead. All those calling kind of followers, nobody will take you people serious. Okay. All right. But let's, let's, let's look at this analytically. Personally, I'm not of the view that threats should be the way out. Out of court, I think this has gone beyond. Um, right now, all hands are on deck to see how the trial begins. What um, I think, what um, if I Oba wanted to do was to see how he could probably, I don't know, just thinking, probably see Manson and the Kano and see if he could you know, talk him into looking at out of court settlement. Don't forget that Ifan Yuba made mention of Wazuriki in uh, some of the analogy interview he had with BBC, where I said there was a time to Wazuriki during the time of Masobo, Masobo was really high and tough up there. Wazuriki too was imprisoned. He played a quite a lot of role. Wazurike himself had to do a video confirming that yes, indeed, there was, you know, roles played by Fanyu, but I find Yuba is actually a good person. It's not I'm I, that I'm now quoting Wazurike and I don't know if I don't know Fanyu Yuba personally. But now that speaks a lot. Which means if he has done it before for Wazurike, he is of the opinion that instead of you know the whole side is going up in flames, why don't they see the man who has the capacity to control millions of Igbos, both in Nigeria and in diaspora, maybe they could settle this out of court. But we just have counter, we actually don't counter with ours. But well, with the right strings, something can still be done. But that also brings me to that um, information. There was released some videos some, some two, three years ago where um, one... Um, a, a Jew prophet said that there will be a time that Mazen Amlikano will be called out for a dialogue and um, that he shouldn't go. But the question now is not a matter of he shouldn't go. He's already in detention. So he's already in Nigeria. So I don't know how this is going to play out, but uh, OYC youth is telling Nigeria and said, look, meet Mazen Amlikano, settle this out of court, let there be dialogue. If you don't, nine months' time, We'll be saying something else, but I don't know how through it is because already South is is fully tensed. Every part of Nigeria is actually tensed at some point, but you know, for that of South is they have been they want their own sovereign state, and they're, everything they're doing is just to get their state. Let's put to that conversation. What's it take?